Okay, we're at Charles Blanc here. We're at Devon Middle School here at the north side of Fredericton. Put the camera straight. So anyway, turn around. I just learned last week, grade six, seven, eight. Got some people watching here. The cops arrive, keep on filming. Anyway, the cops arrive and said every grade eight student the classes to open their door. Now, I'm a strong believer of the drug awareness program. I mean, we have to, that's why I live in a tent in front of the legislator for six months. The drug Ritalin, can't have that. I'm against it. But the drug awareness program, the Friendly Police Force has a different style. This school here, the Devon Middle, Middle School, is one of the poorest school in this city. Put the camera straight. So anyway, you think the cops, good community cops, will walk in there and explain to the kids in a good community manner, well, okay, this is drugs, uh, this is cocaine, this is marijuana, this is dollars, this is what you don't do. But no, good community cops don't do that. Last week, they turned around, they came in here, they opened the door of the classes, grade eight, showed up with canine dogs. Canine dogs in this school, and they were looking for drugs. Grade eight students. Now, the funny part about all this, the Nashwax, Nashwax school, grade six, seven, eight. Look at this. In the Irving paper, Riverside neighbors, Nashwalk 6 student excel at firefighters challenge. They showed up in this school, the rich school, of course we know it's a double standard policy, trying to teach the kids how to be good firemen. While they come in this school and trying to take <laughs> with canines and dogs and start searching for drugs. Is there a double standard? Of course there is. Why would they how come they didn't train this school? They want to be firemen? Is it because they're poor? They don't have the intelligence to be a fireman? Who knows? But the double standard policy, how come they should, what they should do is have the canines and the, the canines of the Friendly Police Force send them to Nashua State School. Everybody should be treated equally and search the, can, uh, the school in Nashua State But they don't do that. They only came here. And plus, there's a native room in there, a room just for natives only. Is it? Is that the reason they came here? Who knows? But double standard policy still holds here in Ferryville.